What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about everything we know about Samsung's foldable phone, also known as the Galaxy F, as well as just what the future of foldable phones holds. As well, I'm going to have Samsung's recent event where they revealed this device playing in the background so you have something to look at while I'm talking. So the Galaxy F reveal was in a really dark room and that was definitely on purpose to help hide the body of the phone. They stated that the phone was kind of put inside like a little boxy cover to hide what it exactly looks like. And at this point in time, I feel like the outer design of it probably doesn't look nearly as good as they want it to. So they just decided to cover it up. Also, one thing I feel like people aren't mentioning enough about the design so far is that screen when it's in smartphone mode. Even in this picture Samsung showed of what they want the phone to look like when it comes out, look how huge the bezels are. I think that just looks super ugly. I definitely hope the final design improves on that a little bit. The release date is set for some time in 2019, most likely later on in the year, but of course that date is subject to change and could be pushed back even more if Samsung feels they need more time. As for pricing, everyone's expecting it to probably be a little over $2,000. So that's definitely a turnoff for most people looking for a new phone, but I don't think Samsung is trying to sell this to most people or just your average consumer. This is definitely a super ambitious phone that's going to be one of the first of its kind. And I say one of the first because a company named Royal or however you pronounce that has released a phone called the FlexPi, which is a foldable smartphone, uh, but it's trash. So Samsung might not be the very first, but they are probably going to be the very first ones to do the foldable smartphone thing well. Back to what I was saying though, the Galaxy F is definitely more aimed at people who are super into technology and phones and that kind of stuff. For your average person, not only does it cost way too much, but it's pretty out of most people's comfort zones. Also, this phone may be more limited than other Samsung devices, meaning they would initially produce a lot less units, which I think kind of makes sense. The initial production for the device is rumored to be around 1 million units. Now you have to keep in mind this is Samsung's first generation of this device and the first generation for any device usually has some obvious little problems here and there so you shouldn't expect this thing to launch and be absolutely perfect. Samsung's other products have had many iterations to go through and improve on year after year but if anyone is going to give this foldable phone a real shot I'm glad it's Samsung. They are known for trying out new things with their devices and usually do a really good job at it. And going back to how this is the first generation of this new device and how it isn't going to be perfect at first, think about the Note Edge. That was the first generation of the curved side screen. It was cool and new, but was a little gimmicky. Then later on, Samsung put that curved glass on both sides and has been improving it ever since. The Galaxy F might be the same way. The first generation of it will be new and cool, but might not be the most optimal way to execute the idea or something like that. And they're going to improve on it over time if Samsung does choose to make a second iteration later on. So the screen for when the device is in smartphone mode is planned to be 4.58 inches big and have a resolution of 840 by 1960 and the tablet mode screen will be 7.3 inches big with a resolution of 1535 by 2152. And all these specs are of course subject to change depending on if Samsung thinks something else will work better later on. Switching over from the Galaxy F to just kind of general foldable technology, Android will soon be getting native support for folding displays, meaning more foldable phones from different companies will most likely be on the way in the future. Something that's important to think about as folding smartphones approach is, do you actually want a phone that folds in half? And is that something that will ever catch on? Personally, I wouldn't mind having a folding phone in the future, but only if it were really polished and looked nice. So basically I have no plans at all to jump right on folding phones when they start appearing, but later down the road when they start improving a bit, I probably wouldn't mind trying out something that folds. I feel like for most people though, this would not be something they consider getting due to the pricing and how different it is from what normal phones right now are. But with a bit of time, I think that'll change. I'm definitely excited to see where Samsung goes with this and what the final version will end up looking like. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Galaxy F so far, and if you would ever consider getting a phone that folds. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more upcoming videos, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.